In this video, we're going to look at trace noise measurements with field flux or verification of the trace noise specification. So we're looking at a magnitude and phase, and we'll look at less than 20 gigahertz, so you can look at any frequency. And the values we're going to be checking is 0.04 dB RMS for the magnitude and 0.07 degrees for the phase. So you would come in a field flux. This is starting at preset mode. And we're going to switch to the network analyzer mode to make this measurement. I switch to S21, and I have a direct cable connected between my ports 1 and ports 2. You want a short, phase-stable cable between these two ports for this measurement. And let's change the frequency, for example, to 10 gigahertz. You set the center to span. This is the methodology you would use for this measurement. And we say conditions are high power and 300 hertz IF bandwidth, so I will change the bandwidth to 300 hertz and I need to change the power from minus 15 to high. And trace noise is the low level noise, and so to do that I will go ahead and do a normalization so I can look at the small noise. You can also do a response scalp. Normalization also works. And this is kind of the noise level you're looking at. It's defined as the standard deviation of this measurement, but this is log and you really can't take standard deviation as a log, so we'll change it to linear. And uh, we don't have a function for standard deviation in field box itself, so we will do the analysis in Excel. So I will save this data, and I will call this trace noise mag 10 gigahertz. I will also want to be looking at phase, so I will change the format to phase. Do the same thing. Data to memory, scale, auto scale. And that's for the phase measurement, so we'll say save it as trace noise phase 10 gigahertz. And now I need to do the analysis in Excel. Um, you can save it in, on a USB stick and transfer it. I just save it internally and I FTP to the analyzer to get um, the data files. That's easier for me, but any method works. And to FTP, you can FTP anon using an anonymous login and any email as the address. Then I change the user data, and now I will get the trace noise files. Again, you can, if you don't want to FTP, um, you can just save them on a USB stick and transfer them. So now I have the files, and I will go into the directory that I saved these at, which was trace noise. I had made it. And let's take a look at magnitude first. This is the CSV file, and this is the magnitude data. And we need the standard deviation of this. So we'll say standard deviation of this all the way down to, that's 224. B24 through B224. But that's in linear format, and we're used to this values being reported in log. So we do a 20 log of 1 plus that value. And this 0.001 dB is the value that we would be comparing to the 0.004. And you can see it's less. So that's the number you want to compare, this 0.01. And this, for the phase, we don't have this linear log conversion. So let me open up the phase file. And here I just simply take the standard deviation of the standard deviation of this number. Change this to B224. Just take all the data. 224. That's 0.015. And the 0.015, this is in degrees. You can see it's a degrees data I've saved. And that's 0.07. So it's less than that. So that's a very simple way to check your trace noise, and you can do this spot checking at various frequencies throughout.